everybody! So the year is slowly coming to an end and in that occasion I thought that I was going to share with you the things that I have been absolutely loving throughout the year of 2015. And I have a massive list, it's consisting of both beauty and non-beauty favourites and to prevent this video from getting longer than it should, I'm just going to go on and jump straight into my little list of the things that I've been loving this year. The very first category I'm going to jump into is going to be beauty related things. The first thing I've been loving when it comes to beauty is a body scrub and it's from Zoella Beauty and it's the Scrubbing Me Softly Smoothing Body Scrub. So this I have actually rebought two times already because it's amazing. I have never tried such a good scrub in my entire life. It looks like this inside. I don't know if you can see that properly but it's kind of whitish. It has a lot of kind of tiny little red beads and when you use this scrub these beads kind of burst and they give you extra moisture and all of those types of things. This body scrub is enriched with acai and blueberries and it also has cocoa butter in it and it's super soft. I love this because it's a really gentle scrub. It really gets away all of the dead skin cells and afterwards your skin just feels really smooth and really hydrated. The next beauty items we're going to talk about are hair related and the first thing I really want to talk about is from Goldwell and it's the Rich Repair Serum and this is amazing. I have naturally curly hair and curly hair is naturally extremely dry so you really have to do whatever you can to keep your hair hydrated and I absolutely love this serum because it really keeps the ends of my hair hydrated. My ends don't split as easily anymore. My hair is just really happy and really bouncy after I started using this and the frizz is really under control as well which is I really 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 love. The other thing I have been loving hair-wise is the Aussie Miracle Styling Mousse Volume and Conditioning. And this is basically a hair mousse and I use this to kind of define my curls. It's not one of those hair forms that after you have put it into your hair you can literally, literally break your hair in two because it's so, so hard and stiff and I hate that. But this just keeps your hair super soft, it smells delicious and my curls are defined and in place the entire day. That was the beauty related things and we're going to go on to the skincare section now. And and I have three things that I am have been obsessed with lately. The first one you have seen if you have been watching my videos because as you know if you have seen them I am like obsessed with Clinique because it's the only skin series that really controls my skin and I am in particular loving the three step systems they have and I have like the miniature version of it here but I use the three step system in number two which is for dry to combination skin and inside of these sets you get a face wash, a liquid exfoliator and a moisturizer and this just works so well on my skin, it leaves it smooth, hydrated and feeling really really fresh and clean afterwards which I love. The other thing I have been loving is also from Clinique and it's a facial scrub and it's the 7 day scrub cream rinse off formula. This is actually really amazing. The grains in this scrub are really really fine. I think it's kind of like a sugar based scrub or something, I might be wrong but it kind of feels that way when you put it on your, on your skin because it's really really gentle. But even though it's gentle it really gets in there and gets all of that dead skin cells off of your face and I really like using this especially when I have been a bit lazy and forgotten to take off my makeup the day before because I feel like this really gets into the pores and get all of the dirt and all of the horrible stuff out of there so I don't get sick. So the last thing I have been loving skincare wise is a facial cream and it's from Garnier and it's the Moisture Nourish Plus for dry skin and I love this especially during winter time this is super super hydrating the consistency of this cream is kind of thick but it's not greasy on the skin at all and it soaks in really really fast so I really love this and my skin has been super happy and I tend to, during the winter time to get dry skin along my jaw and on my cheekbones and stuff like that and, and this really keeps those dry patches under control and I love it. That was the skincare section of this favorites video and we're now going to jump into the exciting section which is makeup and the very first thing that I have been loving is a palette and that palette I bought in March and it's the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. This is freaking fabulous. So inside the Chocolate Bar Palette looks like this. It comes with a bunch of kind of neutral tones but also a few colors here and there. It is expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but it's definitely worth the money because this is so pigmented and creamy and really soft on the eyes. You barely need to dip your brush in there and you already have too much on your brush which is awesome because this will really last a long time 
time and I have been using this almost every single day since I got it in March and you can barely see a dent in any of the shadows. So this is definitely the palette I have been reaching for the most during 2015. The other thing I've been loving is a blush and this one I also got in March when I went to Copenhagen and it's by NARS and it's the Deep Throat Blush. It looks like this, it's a corally blush with a golden shimmer running through it and this is really really pretty especially if you have fair skin like me this looks really natural and makes your skin look healthy and glowing and I love this I have been using this every single day since March and it's not even a dent in this um, blush so I think it will last for years actually because this is ridiculously pigmented I have also been loving a foundation this year and it has been amazing and it's from Bourjois it's the healthy mix serum foundation and it looks like this I have this in the color light vanilla or vanilla clear again especially if you are struggling with really dry skin during winter time this really helps keep your skin hydrated and feeling happy and i have been loving this and i've been applying this with a sponge actually and when you put it on with a sponge you can't even see it on your face it just looks like you have the most perfect skin ever when it comes to contouring i have met my favorite product in the entire world. And I think this is actually one of those products that I will be using for years and years. And it's the NYX Wonder Stick Highlight and Contour. It looks like this. On one side you have a really cool toned nice bronzing stick and on the other side you have a really light highlight. This is so amazing. When I am using this my skin just looks so glowing and perfect and I am really happy with it. When it comes to eyebrows, the product I have been reaching for the absolute most is the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Taupe. And Taupe is kind of like a greyish brown color, so this is just the perfect shade for me. It works really well and I love Anastasia for brow products because they have so many shades and you will definitely be able to find one that suits you in their ranges. For mascara, I have been rebuying and rebuying one certain mascara which you have probably already seen a lot on my channel and you have probably already seen it a lot here on YouTube and it's the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara and this is amazing i am really picky when it comes to mascaras and i have been using the Maybelline cat eyes mascara for the longest time and then i decided to give this a go and i am really seriously hooked i think i have bought this five times already the formula of this mascara is just really perfect it's one of those mascaras that aren't too liquidy or too thick it's just perfectly in between so if you haven't tried this out already you definitely should because it's seriously amazing. So that was it for kind of the makeup, skincare and beauty section of this favorites video. And we're now going to travel on into the land of non-beauty favorites. I also have loved a couple of TV shows lately and these TV shows I don't really feel like need an explanation. So I'm just going to say the name of these series just because I, I just guess that most of you guys already have heard about these shows. The first one I have been obsessed with this year is Game of Thrones. <laughs> I actually got really into that TV show and it was kind of like an obsession when I discovered it because there are five seasons out. I watched four seasons in two weeks. Yeah, I'm not lying, I actually did that. It was actually a bit sad. The next show is no surprise to anyone that knows me and most of you guys are probably loving the same show and it's Pretty Little Liars. We have reached the very final category of this favorites video and I want to talk about the YouTubers I have really enjoyed during 2015. Some of these are bigger YouTubers and some of these are smaller YouTubers but I'm going to talk about the four YouTubers that I have really 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 been enjoying. The first one I want to talk about is a girl named Fabulous Hannah. She is a British YouTuber. She is literally so funny. She has a very dry and sarcastic type of humor which is totally up my alley and I just enjoy watching her videos so so much. The next YouTuber I've been loving is a girl named Rebecca Bohr. She is a Swedish YouTuber with an English channel and she makes the most amazing makeup tutorials ever. I just love her videos. She has all of these great ideas for different types of makeup looks and I wish that I was as good as doing makeup as she is because she is amazing. The next YouTuber I have been loving is a YouTuber called Leading Lady Beauty but her real name is Jade Billington and she is also a British YouTuber and she is 
such a sweet person. I love her personality. She's really bubbly and cute and sweet. She has a huge variety of different types of videos she do. And I find her videos to be a lot of fun to watch. And I love the quality of her videos and everything like that. And the very last YouTube channel that I have been obsessed with this year has been a channel called Simon and Martina. But it's also known as Ijo Kimchi. And this is a channel made by Simon and Martina. They are a Canadian couple living in Korea. And they have been living in Korea for like seven years I think and on their channel they have different types of series so one of the series is a series where they show you different types of food you can get in Korea they introduce you to different dishes the other series they have on their channel is like um, they have um, they have a series that they call Wonderful Treasure Hunt or something where they find really weird products online or in stores and they try it out on camera and it's super fun to watch. I just found their channel to be really, really interesting and I really like channels where I learn things but they are also really entertaining to watch. So that was the very last channel I wanted to talk about and it was actually the very last item on my list of the things that I have been loving throughout 2015. And I'm really, really excited to see what's going to happen in 2016. I would absolutely love it if you could comment three or four or how many favorites do you like down below of the things that you have been loving this year and books and TV shows and YouTube channels would actually be really ap appreciated because I'm always on the hunt for new things to watch and read and stuff like that. If you enjoyed this video please give it a nice thumbs up and also if you aren't subscribed to my channel but you would like to see more videos from me it would literally mean the world if you subscribed and I will see you guys next week. Bye! <laughs>